Well, for fans of classical, this mm -hmm. will be music to your ears. Yeah, U of H is uh, orchestrating a month-long festival featuring classic music, classical music's biggest rising stars. Chip Brewster is at music Moore's Hall man. this morning with a preview. He was at the Keys a little earlier. We oh, love that sound, Chip. Ooh. the ivory. That was rough. Yeah, I cannot play piano. Well, I can't play piano in general, but I can't good. do it and talk at the same time. <laughs> but I definitely can't play saxophone and talk at the same time. So we wouldn't even we weren't even gonna try that one this morning. The Texas Music Festival kicked off this last Tuesday, and I've got Alan joining me, who's the general and artistic director of the whole thing. I understand the symphony orchestra. That is the big kahuna, the big group of this thing. That's the core of what we do. Uh, we bring these hundred plus musicians from all over the world. They get together, and in less than a week almost, they have a major concert put together, and then they do it again and again Ooh. and again for the whole month. So there's like four different, completely different concerts. Completely right? different programs. Well, and as you mentioned it, that group made up of about 100 students from across the country, around the world. We've got four of them joining us this morning, and so we're going to show off a little bit of each of them. Who is this, and what is she playing? This is Maddie Shake. She's playing the glockenspiel. She's from Indianapolis. And she goes to Roosevelt University in Chicago. Oh, really cool. So, uh, a U.S. person, but over here, someone from outside. Have Tomas Kowalczyk, who's from Krakow, Poland. He's a student at Rice University, and he's a finalist in our Cynthia Woods Mitchell Young Artist Competition oh, on Sunday at 2 o'clock. And that free. is one of the, yeah, the many free events that you can come to. He and five other of his colleagues will be competing for a chance cool. to play with the orchestra. Now, we saw a little bit of her earlier. Introduce her and describe this is Natalie Mann from Hong Kong. She goes to the Cleveland Institute of Music, and uh, this is a harp. That, that is the harp, and she plays it well. She's been playing, guys, since she was 12. She's been playing the harp, and she wanted to do it, too. I even asked. It wasn't a parent thing. And then we have Evan on flute. Yes, this is Evan Pengrasolt, who is a student at the Eastman School of Music. He's from Seattle, and this is his second time joining our orchestra. Excellent. So we've got concerts, we've got programming going on all the way through July 2nd. Where does someone go if they want to learn more and know when they can come out and see some of this music? You can go to our website, tmf.uh.edu, or call our box office, 713-743-3313. Excellent. And if you guys are looking for even more of these students and their awesome skills, head to my Facebook. Facebook page. I did a little Facebook Live with them earlier. A lot of good stuff on there. And hey, I'm putting up stuff every morning, so be sure to check in with me on social media. Right. What do you guys think? Uh, any any instrumentalists back there getting ready to whip out an instrument? Hmm? We'll I've see. Not, no, I, what, no. I, hey, real quick, Chip. Uh, this is totally random. What kind of piano is that that you were playing? What what kind of piano is what it? Is that, this Alan, if Yamaha I'm not mistaken, Steinway? this is a Steinway, like, full grand piano. Oh, is that right? Yes, it is. So but it has a role in the orchestra this week, wow. not in front of the orchestra. Okay, but uh -huh. if I could guess, what, like $30,000? No, more like $150,000. Oh, my gosh. I was, playing, I was playing really crappy piano on $150,000. <laughs> uh, uh, you can't guess. play it badly. That's Every a girl loves Steinway. a guy playing a piano, even if it's crappy, Chip. Okay? <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Good all to right, see right. you. Okay.